challenge every week. This week's challenge is a squat challenge. We're gonna see how many squats you can do in 30 seconds. On your mark, get ready, go. Hey, hey One Kids, kids. Welcome, welcome to, to Church, Church Online. Online. We are so glad that you're here with us. One Kids is our favorite and we're so thankful to get to spend every week with you. Now you know we can't get started without going over our values. values. These are my favorite. Our first value is to love God. We love God by giving Him our undivided attention. We also love God by worshiping Him with our voices and with all of our hearts. Number two, love people. We love people because God loves all people and we want to be just like Him. One Kids, do you remember the third one? If you do, say it really loud. That's right. Do your best. Do your best in everything you do and God will take care of the rest. And last but not least, have fun. We want this to be the best hour of your week. So have fun because God gives us so much joy. Speaking of fun, we're going to have so much fun as we get ready to worship together. So one kids, stand on your feet. Satisfied 
everyone, kids. We are so excited that you have joined us for our brand new series, The Wonder is Over. And if you're wondering, what does wonder even mean? Have you ever been walking and you're so distracted and you look up and you have no idea where you are? Like you were supposed to be going to the bathroom but you end up in the kitchen? Wandering is when you're walking, you have no direction and you have no idea where to go. When we find Jesus, He always brings us home. He always tells us where to go. So in this series, we are going to go on an incredible journey. So get ready, enjoy the challenges, enjoy the lessons because the wonder is over. Hey one kids, we're going to play What Would You Rather Find, just like last week. Ready? Let's start. Question one, what would you rather find? A new video game or new art supplies? I think a new video game. I love playing games. What about you? I think new art supplies because I love to paint and color. All right, question two. What would you rather find? Tickets to a concert or tickets to a sports game? I think a concert. Me too. I love music. Question three. What would you rather find? A Disney princess or a superhero? This one's really hard because I love both, but I think I'm going to have to go with superhero. What about you, Jules? I think a Disney princess because they're so pretty. All right, question four. What would you rather find, a treasure chest or a pirate? I think treasure chest because I want all the money. I think finding a pirate because I would love to hear all their cool stories. And lastly, question five. What would you rather find? A hungry shark or a hungry alligator? They're both really scary, but I think I'm going to have to go with hungry alligator. Hmm, me too. Thank you so much for playing with us. Bye! Hey one kids, it's time to learn our memory verse. Are you ready? The first time, you're going to listen to us. The second time, you repeat after us. And the third time, we're going to do it all together. Are you ready? Let's go. For the Son of Man, Jesus, came to see and save the lost. Luke 19.10 All right, are you ready? You're going to repeat after us. Let's go. For the Son of Man, Jesus, came to see and save the lost. Luke 19.10 Great job, one kids. Are you ready to do it all together, let's go. For the Son of Man, Jesus came to seek and save the lost. Luke 19.10. Great job, One Kids. Hey, One Kids, what a great series this has been. We have been talking about how Jesus is always with us and with Him, we are home. The wonder is over. Today, I want to talk to you about how Jesus is always there when we meet Him and let Him into our lives. He wants to give us a good, good life. Now, let's read in the Bible and see what God says about His plan and purpose for our lives. When we ask Jesus into our hearts, He will be with us forever, no matter what. He will forgive us for anything we do and will give us a good, good life. So, what does it mean to have a good life? Jesus tells us in Jeremiah 29, 11 through 13, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you. He wants to give you good things. He will never do anything that will hurt you. It continues to say, plans to give you a hope and a future. He wants you to dream big and know that nothing is impossible with Him. The Bible continues to say in verse 12, Then you will call on me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. It is so important, one kids, that we pray and have a conversation with God, just like you would a friend. You can trust Him with everything. He will always listen. Verse 13 says, You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. To seek Jesus with all of our hearts means that we ask Him to be a part of our everyday life. 
tell him about your school day, tell him about your friends, tell him about your family, and you'll see there is no better friend than Jesus. I love the Bible, and I love how God uses His Word to remind us that He has a plan and a great purpose for our lives. So today, there are three things that Jesus wants to remind us of in order to have a life full of purpose and good things. Number one, love God. Love God. Tell Him you love Him. Tell Him that you want Him to be a part of every single thing in your life. You will realize He is the best friend you will ever have. Number two, love people. It is so important that in order to have a good life, we love people that we're kind, that we forgive, and that we are good friends to everyone that is in our lives. Number three, love His church. I love how you come on here and watch online or you join us in person. It is so good to come together with all of our friends and worship God. That makes His heart so happy. So don't let that stay just with you. Maybe you can invite a friend to come with you or to watch with you. It is so important that we love what God is doing in His church. So in order for you to have a good, good life, it is so important to number one, love God, love people, and love His church. Let's pray. God, we thank you. We thank you that you have a plan and a purpose for our life. And God, we pray that you would help us to always love you, that you would help us to love people and be kind and forgiving. And Jesus, we pray that we would love your church and love what you're doing every single day. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. That was a great story. Hit that subscribe button. Turn notification, give me